Good morning! Well, today's video, I thought we could take a look at some really awesome uh, DIY project uh, pieces that we have here at the warehouse right now. Personally, one of my favorite things to look at because there's so much press possibility. You can come and get so much inspiration by looking at these things. Um, yeah, it's really great. So uh, yeah, all right, starting with this one. Um, this, man, I love the back and sides on this bench. Um, I think they're really, really neat. This really great X design. And they kind of flare out a little bit, you can see has a lot of really cool little uh, um, features, including, of course, the drawers on the bottom. I feel like this would be really great for uh, an entryway. Um, you can store shoes and other stuff underneath, and then, uh, hey, it's a good place to put on those shoes. <laughs> yeah, and you could leave stuff there. That's probably what I would end up doing, but... <laughs> yeah, it does need, of course, as you can see, some, uh, um, some love on the finish. Um, at the very least, a cleaning, probably. Um, but it is only 45 bucks, so uh, it's a really good price uh, for something that's so uh, so unique. So, yeah, really cool bench. And then here, this one, um, I think this desk is awesome. It's only 45 bucks. It needs a, a it needs work, but uh, man, you could do so many cool things with it because it's got some uh, some really cool features. So it's got some locks, both at the top and here. I don't have the key for it. Um, but, um, but those are kind of fun to have on there. I love the front drawer with this uh, really pronounced curve. It looks like a, a pair of very voluptuous lips. <laughs> I never thought I'd be saying that phrase on a furniture video, but there you have it. <laughs> you can see the, this leg definitely needs some love. It's got some nails popping out and it's uh, a little pulling away. But for 45 bucks, it's worth the, uh, the, uh, the work, I would say. Um, got these hinges to keep the uh, the writing surface on there it's a little bit wobbly but uh but not too bad and then yeah one drawer and some uh some slots for mail and stuff so yeah it'd be a fun project to uh um yeah pretty much do anything with um so yeah that guy's right there and then over here similarly sized piece uh this is an old um sewing machine table uh the sewing machine is gone um so Holy God, you can do all sorts of stuff with this. I think this would make an awesome bar. Um, mostly because um, if you have a small space, you can uh, leave it like this, but then if you need to open it up to mix drinks, you just pull it out and uh, ta-da. Let me see, does this one have a... No, sometimes they have like a bar here that you can pull out in order to support this. So maybe don't put anything too heavy here. <laughs> um, so yeah, this would be cool. You could maybe put uh, replace it with glass, have a little bit of... Um, space down here that you could do stuff with the front does open it's a little bit tough but uh it's got a little shelf here so yeah you could do all sorts of things with this and uh just fun to uh to imagine the possibilities and if you want to paint it it's already been started so uh another plus <laughs> and it's 35 bucks for the old guy and then down here we have some more uh i guess you would say maybe some more substantial pieces um this dresser is only 45 bucks um I think the knobs that they put on it are really cool. Like these, like, I don't know if they're glass or plastic. I think they might be plastic, um, but they're um, very shiny and bright. Um, and it, it's actually not in too bad position. I think it comes with its old knobs as well, if you don't like those glass or plastic ones. Uh, but really great for painting or refinishing. Um, as you can see, it has some condi condition issues. But uh, yeah, 45 bucks, another fun project. This one, holy cow, this is only 85 bucks and uh, you could do so many cool things with it. Check out the hardware on it. It's very, uh, it has a lot of personality. Um, so that would be a lot of fun to, uh, to spruce up somehow. Um, this is another one I think would be great for, for painting because it's got a lot of really cool, like, um, um, I don't know, like waves and curves and uh, it would look really neat in a color, I think. Um, the drawers open pretty well, so it's a, uh, Really, this one doesn't have much structural work to it. It seems like it's just mostly um, cosmetic. Um, you can also just refinish it or use it as is, if you like as is. There's one thing that's missing, and that is the divider here, uh, which I kind of like that this even has the option for it. The uh, um, little slot for it is still there, though. So you could use this one as a, uh, a template, I think, and uh, cut a new one, if you like. Uh, but otherwise, it'd make a really great, uh, yeah, really great storage piece. Um, and again, it's only 85 bucks. Uh, this one next to it, man, there, I think there is so much fun stuff you could do with it. Um, so this is $85 for the set. That'd be the bottom piece and the mirror. The mirror is gigantic. Um, but I think the bottom piece would make a really good sideboard in, your, in a dining room. It's got all these really cool, um, 
um, I don't know, just kind of features in the front. These are a single drawer, so not two small square ones. Uh, but can you imagine, man, if this was a color and either keep these, maybe you could, oh man, maybe you could spray them a bright color. Um, they'd really pop out. Um, it, would look, it would look really, really neat. And I love the arches in the middle. And the same thing with the, the, the poles in the center you could do something fun with. There's drawers on the inside. Be good for storing um, table linens, for sure. Um, so yeah, yeah, just a cool, uh, a cool piece. I think you can do a lot of fun stuff with. And uh, and then yeah, if you don't want a mirror above, uh, if you choose to make this a sideboard, um, I think it does come off. So uh, yeah, so you just unscrew it there, and then you can hang this on the wall somewhere else. It's got these really great arches on the top. I think this would look awesome painted, uh, painted gold. Um, as you can tell, I'm kind of a, I don't know, I like big gilded frames. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, it's a, uh, um, a gigantic mirror. So um, good for uh, doing um, your entire body, which is nice. Um, <laughs> so yeah, really great, really great piece. 85 bucks for the two of those. And then lastly, I wanted to show you um, this one. So this guy needs a lot of work. Um, so this was a... Um, a, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, you put records on it. I'm, we'll say record player. I can't think of the word. The top pops off. You can see where it was. It is missing all of the guts. So um, if you wanted to make it a record player, um, you would need to basically get a record player. But I think that would be awesome if you had like a modern record player that fits this, um, you know, this um, proportion. You could just put it there after you remove the, uh, the older parts that no longer function. And then, yeah, and then this piece here could just be the, the cover for it. Um, so it can still serve that function, but, um, mostly just for storage rather than a functional record player. But it's got so many cool features. Check the wood grain. Really great wood grain. You can see, um, it may appear that the, the, the door is missing, but it's still here. Um, really great wood grain on that too. Um, so maybe you could just reattach it, um, and spiff it up. So yeah, really great. Um, whoa, there it goes. And then yeah, this is the the grill for the speaker. Um, yeah, you can do all sorts of fun stuff. This is fixed now, but maybe you can make it a open door. Uh, this is only thirty bucks. So uh, um, so yeah, if you, even if you want to do all that work to it, your starting price is not huge. Um, and also, it's got the it still has the crank. That's really cool too. So yeah, that's just some of the DIY furniture we've got. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of furniture here. Uh, we have two other rooms full of it. Um, and not all of it is DIY furniture. We have a lot that is ready to go as well. So uh, um, so yeah, if you're in the market for furniture, come check us out. We're open every day from 12 to 5 p.m. And uh, you can uh, take a look at what we have. Uh, we also have a selection of pieces listed on our marketplace, and that is communityforksmarketplace.org. So you can get an idea of what's here. But yeah, to see everything, um, come visit in person. So, all right. Well, uh, if you have any questions about uh, Community Forklift, how to donate to our nonprofit, or how to purchase stuff from uh, Community Forklift, please put them in the comments and uh, I will get back to you. So otherwise, thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.